All right, checking in on the stage. So far, I've built several more frames. This is how my animation is working. I can kind of test it by just playing the eyeballs myself, right? That all looks good. I'm eventually trying to get to here, right? So there's a ways to go. So what's the next step? I need to X out the eyes, and I need those whites of the eyes to keep growing. I need the the mouth to keep changing shape, the nose to keep dropping, the whiskers to keep growing, and then eventually a tongue needs to pop out. So I think I might introduce the tongue here and start squishing the head a little bit and then have the explosion happen in the next frame. Ooh, so, I made a duplicate of the nose. I dropped it a little bit, I believe. I might drop it a tiny bit more just to make sure. Then I go to the eyes, and I'm going to shrink them individually. Go to the whiskers, always making a duplicate, pull them out. And increase their opacity by 5% now to 80. See the differences. So when animators were hand animating, they would they would draw their cells on their poses on vellum, onion skin, thin tracing paper, and they would always be flipping back and forth between the last one. So that's what I'm doing between the stage and the assets, right? Building the image I want on the assets to be the next frame from the stage. So it shows me all the things I've done differently. And now the mouth, I want to keep moving. Well, let's see, the whites of the eyes need to grow. Hold down shift so it distorts. I think they need to start tilting too. Yeah, they start tilting in towards each other a little bit, but I think I'll do that with the explosion. So now I'm still just growing them. And then the mouth, looking less and less happy. It's done through warping, lifting up the top a little bit. It's bringing the nose and the mouth closer together. And dragging down the corners a little bit. So just all the things trying to control. So I'm going to try to round out this top a little. It's tough when you warp something so much starts to lose its shape. There we go. So now the cat definitely is looking worried. And now I'm going to start squishing it a little bit. I think I might play with its ears. Make a duplicate. It's been a while since I played with the ears, but hold down shift, and I'm going to start squishing them down just a little. And then the full head, going to make a duplicate for the first time, and starting to change this. Hold down shift and start squishing it down a little. So this is squash, squash and squish. Before it kind of explodes out, I want to pinch it in. 
and eventually we're going to get to here, right? So it has to squash near the bottom. So I might also warp it a little bit on these bottom corners and just tug that out. I wish they had a tool, they'll probably add it in the next few years into Photoshop, where you can warp symmetrically. So you don't have to do it on both sides the same way. But they have perspective, which allows you to kind of do that. All right. So bigger change from here to here. You can see that squish happening. Things get exaggerated. And now let's finish that frame up. Hold down Option, Layer, Merge Visible. Remember to hold down Option. Then select All, Command A, then Copy, Command C. Go to your stage, click on the topmost layer, and then Command V to paste it in. Then go back. Or command S to save your stage. So if it all, if the computer crashes, because we're using so much memory in the assets, you have all that, those frames already saved. And then command D to deselect the combined layer and then delete that and then build the next one. The factory. So now I want to Get closer and closer to this position of the nose. And I'm nearly there. And of the eyes. I'm just going to duplicate. And shrink. Make sure those line up with the X, X's. Yeah, they're getting there. And then the whiskers. Keep going. The whiskers are going to be the only thing unfazed by the explosion. The eyeballs need to go pretty big. And a little bit broader. And maybe squish them down. Let's see. Let's try perspective. Yeah, we start tilting them out. Finding the tools that work up. Oh, I don't want to tilt them out. I actually want to tilt them the other way. I'm going to widen out the bottom. And that will do it from both sides, which is nice. Oops. Hold down shift. Yep. Okay. But I keep going, the mouth. Keeps coming up right to the tip of the, the nose. And the corners of the mouth are going to keep going down. That curve is going to be stronger. Almost. I like that so much. Let's see. Redo. Except I need to smooth out that bottom. Bottom uh, right edge.
All right, that's going to be a pain with all the warping, so I'm going to do this. Oh, I don't want to rasterize it, though. Shoot, what can I do? Ah, I'll do something pretty clever. Turn the mouth into a group, but this is what I'll do. I'm going to transform it. I'm going to warp it to keep it as a vector shape just because, and a best practice. Tuck it in like that, then duplicate it, then flip the duplicate horizontal. Right. Then overlay them so they match each other. There we go. Now I put both of those into their own group. And now we have the mouth group. Now, wouldn't it be nice if I could take those vector shapes and say, just combine those into one vector shape? And I might have to rasterize it in order to do that. But when we start using Adobe Illustrator, we'll be able to combine different paths together. So that will be nice. Okay, now I want to continue the squish just a little bit. Well, no, actually, I think I want to do it just fast. I'm going to go right to the explosion. So the cat ears, I'll have one more time. Duplicate those. Squeeze them down and out. Let's see, let's try perspective. They kind of flatten out. And then the head, squeeze that down. And with perspective, bulge it out. So again, more squishing. See where I was last. And I want to hint at the tongue. See the icicles, I see the whiskers, here's the tongue. So instead of duplicating, I'm just going to play with the opacity on the tongue groups and on the tongue. That's the other part of the tongue. So here I'm going to duplicate the tongue shrink it, tuck it up in, in there. Let's see. Yeah, that'll have to do. From that to that, and next we're going to get exploding. I'm trying to decide if I want the.